In, ex in each equation in exercise 1 to 4, illustrates a property of determinants, state the property. So here we have this determinant of this matrix, then it is equal minus the determinant of this one. So that's mean, since we have here negative, so that's mean we two or we did row operation, which is replacement. So this one is satisfied like this one B. Because from here to here, we have row 1 and row 2 interchange. So that's mean the determinant of this matrix is equal the minus determinant of this matrix. So we apply theorem 3, which is part B. If two rows of A are interchanged to produce B, then determinant of B is equal minus determinant of A. Now, in 3, we have the determinant of this matrix is equal 3 determinant of this matrix. We see here we have 3, and we have here this first row. This one is here the first row. So, that means we take row 1 is equal 1 over 3 row 1, or we factor out the 3 from first row. So, that means we apply this one, C. So for this one, we apply C, determinant of B is equal K determinant of A. So we multiply this determinant by 30. In 5 and 9, we need to find the determinant by row reduction to echelon 4. So for 5, if we reduce this one, so we need to make row 2 to be 0 and this one here in row, two to, row 3 to be 0. So row, so let us write here 5. And so row 2 is equal row 1 plus row 2. And row 3 is equal to row 1 plus row 3. This will give us the determinant of 1, 5, minus 5. Then so we, since we do this row operation, so this will not affect the determinant. So now row 2 plus row 1, this will give us 0. 5 minus 4, 1 minus 4 plus 5 is 1. Then 2 row 1 plus row 3, so 2 minus 2, 0. Then 2 multiplied by 5, 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Then 2 multiplied minus 4 is minus 8. Minus 8 plus 7 is minus 1. Now we need to make this one also 0, so row 3 row 3 is equal minus 2 row 2 plus row 3. Again this one is will not affect the determinant of this matrix, so this will give us 1, 5, minus 4, 0, 1, 1, this one 0, now, minus 2 plus 2 will be 0. Minus 2 multiplied by 1 will be minus 2. Minus 2 minus 1 will give us minus 3. Now, this one is an upper triangular matrix. The determinant is just we need to multiply 1 by 1 by minus 3. So, this is 1 by 1 by minus 3, which is equal minus 3. Now we'll do the same thing to find the determinant of matrix in 9. So we need to put this to be 0. So row 3 is equal row 1 plus row 3. Then row 4 will be equal minus 3 row 1 plus row 4. So the determinant will not to change because this row operation does not change the determinant. So 1 minus 1 minus 3, 0. Then 0, 1. Sorry. 1, 5, 4. Then if we add row 1 plus row this one is 1. So row 1 plus row 3 is 0, then minus 1, then 2, then 3. Then minus 3 row 1 plus row 4, so minus 3 plus 3, 0. 
then minus 3 with minus 1 will be 3. 3 minus 3, 0. Then minus 3 with minus 3, 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. Then minus 3 with 0. Then we add 3. So now we have here a pivot. Then this one is a pivot. So we need to make this one to be 0. So row 3 is equal to row 2 plus row 3. This one will not change the determinant because it is according to theorem 3. This one not to change. So this one minus 3 is 0, then 0, 1, 5, 4. So now row 3 is equal to row 2 plus row 3. So we'll add this one 0, this one 0, this one 7, this one again 7. So 0, 0, 7, 3. Now we need to make this one to be 0. So row 4 is equal to minus row 3 plus row 4. This one will not change the determinant. So 1 minus 1 minus 3, 0. 0, 1, 5. Four, then 0, 0, 7, 7. Now minus row 3 plus row 4 will give us this one 0. This one minus 7 plus 3 will be minus 4. So the determinant will be 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7 multiplied by, by minus 4. This will give us minus 28. In 7, also we do row operation. Here, 3 row operation. None of them will change the determinant. We get this matrix. Now, since we have two similar rows, so that means the rows are linearly dependent, so this matrix is not invertible and the determinant will be equal to 0 directly. In exercise 13, we need to combine the methods of row reduction and cofactor expansion to compute the determinants. So for this one, it is better to make this one zero than find the determinant using the last column. So if we said row two is equal minus two row one plus row two. This will not change the determinant, so it will be 2, 5, 4, 1. Then, so, minus 2, row 1. So, minus 2 multiplied by 2, minus 4 plus 4, 0. Then, here, minus 10 plus 7, minus 3. Then, minus 2, 4, minus 8. Minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2, 0 row 3 as it is and row 4 also as it is so minus 6 7 7 0 now if we find the determinant using the last column so that means it is equal 1 multiplied by minus 1 power this one is in the first row and in the fourth column so this one plus 4 then determinant of we need to cross this one we need to cross this one so we have 0 minus 3 minus 2 6 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 7 7 so now this will give us minus 1 power 5 minus 1 so this is minus here we have 0 here 6 minus 6, minus 3, minus 2, 7, minus 2, minus 4, 7. So we find here using the last column. Now if we want to find here the determinant using the first column also, first let us make this one, one of these of them is 0. So let us say the row 3 is equal row 2 plus row 3. So this will give us here, we don't forget the minus, so 0, minus 3, minus 2, then 6, minus 2, minus 4. Now if we add row 2 with row 3, so 6 minus 6 will be 0, minus 2 plus 7 will be 5, minus 4 with 7 will give us 3. 
So now we will find the determinant using the first column. So the first one will be 0, the second one will be 6. So here it is equal to, don't forget this minus, so 6 multiplied by minus 1 power. It is in the second row in the first column, so this is 2 plus 1. Determinant of, if we cross this row, cross this column, we have 3 minus 2. Minus 3 minus 2. Here we have 5 and 3. So now minus 1 power 3 will be... Minus 1 power 3 will be minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 6 will be 6. Multiplied by the determinant of this one is minus 9 plus... Because here we have minus, so minus will be plus. So 6 multiplied by minus 9 plus 10 will be 1. So 1 multiplied by 6, this will give us 6. So the determinant will be equal 6. In exercise 15 to 19, find the determinant. And we are given here the determinant of this fixed matrix. So if we compare now 15 with this matrix, the first row are this, is the same, the second row the same, the third row here it is equal. So the third row, row 3, is equal 3, row 3, for this matrix. This matrix is just the fixed one. If we we did row 3 is equal 3, row 3, we get this matrix, which is B. And we know that if we did this operation, we multiplied one of the row by any K, so the determinant will be changed. So that's mean the determinant of this one, if we say this one is B, so determinant of P will be equal 3, determinant of this one, which is 3 multiplied by 7, which is 21. Now for 17, we have this one, the original one. We do row operation. The row operation here, it is, it seems that the first row, it is added with the second row. So the row operation is row 2 is equal row 1 plus row 2. And we know this one does not change the <coughs> determinant. So the determinant of P, it is equal to the determinant of this one, which is equal to 7. Now for 19, if we compare this one with this one, it seems that we first multiply row 2 by 2. So the first row operation is row 2 is equal to row 2. Then the second one, we add row 2 after this one we add row 2 plus row 1 for this one it will change the determinant and it will be multiplied by 2 but this one will not change the determinant so the determinant of p will be equal to determinant of this one 2 multiplied by 7 this will give us 14 so the determinant in 19 will be 14 because this one is first we multiply row 2 by 2. So here it is multiplied by k. The determinant will be changed and it will be multiplied by k. The second step is we add row 2 plus row 1. This will not change the determinant. So this one would be 14 as it is. In 21 and 23, use determinants to find out if the matrix is invertible. So if the matrix is invertible, that means determinant of A is not equal to 0. So this is our matrix. If we do first row operation to make this one 0, so that's why it is easy to take the third row, the third, sorry, column, and then we find what is the determinant. So if we say row 2 or row 3 is equal minus row 2 plus row 3, this will give us... 2, 1, 3, sorry, we said minus row 2, so the first and the second will be the same, 6, 3, 0, 2. Now the third row is minus row 2, so minus 1 plus 3 will be 2, minus 3 plus 9 will be 6, then minus 2 with 2 will be 0. Now if we evaluate the determinant using the third column, 
So determinant of a, if we say this one a for example, so determinant of a will be 2 multiplied by minus 1 bar. This one is in the second row in the third column, so 2 plus 3. Determinant of, we will cross this one, cross this one. So we have here 2, 6, then 2, 6 again. So this one will give us minus 1 power 3 will be minus Minus 1 power 5 would be minus 1, so minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6 is 12, minus 2 multiplied by 6 is 12. So this one is equal to 0. Determinant of A is equal to 0, so from here A is not invertible. Why it is not invertible? Since the determinant is equal to 0. In 23, we have this matrix, which is 4 by 4 matrix. So if we take the determinant across the first row, so it will be, if, if we assume this one is A, so the determinant of A will be equal to, because it is in the first row, first column, so it will be 2 multiplied by minus 1 power 2, which is 2. Then we take the determinant, so if we cross this one, Cross this one, so then we have here minus 7, 8, 7, minus 5, 6, 5, then 0, 0, 4. Then we have plus 6. Since 6 is in the fourth column, first row so it will be minus 1 power 1 plus 4 which is would give us minus 6 so then multiply by the determinant of we need to cross this one also cross, cross this one so we have our matrix is 1 minus 7 minus 5 then 3 8 6 then 0 7 5 so now we need to find this one so this will give us it is equal to then if we take the determinant cross this one the third down the third column so here we have 4 so it will be multiplied by 4 then the 4 is in the third column the third row the third column sorry and the third row so it would be 3 plus a 3 and then we have the determinant of we need to cross this one cross this one so it would be minus 7 minus 5 then 8 and here 6 then minus 1 power 5 will be minus 1 and multiplied by 6 will be minus 6 if we take the determinant for this one cross or down the first column so this will give us so minus 6 multiplied by 1 1 is in the first row first column so then we need to cross this one cross this one so it is multiplied by determinant of this matrix then 3 so 3 is in the second row first column so it will be minus 3 multiplied by the determinant of minus 7 minus 5 then here we have 7 5 so now 2 multiply by 4 multiply by minus 1 power 6 will be 8 determinant of this one will be minus 7 multiplied by 6 will be minus 24 then minus 5 multiplied by 8 will be 40 minus 40 and here we have 40 so this so this one is 42 not 24 so this one is 42 then minus 5 multiplied by 8 will be 40 and we have minus so it will be here 40 then minus 6 multiplied by determinant of this one 8 multiplied by 4 8 multiplied by 5 which is 40 minus 6 multiplied by this one is 42 then we have minus 3 multiplied by 3, minus 7 multiplied by this one will be minus 35 plus 35. 
so this part is 0 so now we have here minus 42 plus 40 which is minus 2 minus 2 multiplied by 8 minus 16 then minus 6 multiplied by 40 minus 42 which is minus 2 minus 3 multiplied by 0 will be 0 so this will give us minus 60 plus minus 16 plus 12 this will give us minus 4 which is not equal to 0 so since this one is not equal to 0 that means the columns of the matrix A are linearly independent so the columns are linearly independent we said here the columns are linearly independent but the question is asked if the uh, if the matrix is invertible so also we can say here a is invertible in 25 we need to use determinants to decide if the set of vectors is linearly independent so just we need to find the determinant of these vectors we first construct the matrix a then we find the determinant if the determinant of a is equal to zero that means a is not invertible this give us the columns are linearly dependent if the determinant of a is not equal to zero that means a is invertible and the columns are linearly independent so we find the determinant of this matrix a which is equal to minus one so minus one is different than zero that's mean a is invertible and the columns are linearly independent in exercises 27 and 28, A and B are n by n matrices. Mark each statement true or false, justify each answer. So A, a row replacement operation does not affect the determinant of a matrix. This one is directly true. B, the determinant of A is the product of the pivots in any echelon form U of A multiplied by minus 1 power r where r is the number of row interchanges made during row reduction from a to u this one also it is true then see if the columns of a are linearly dependent then determinant of a is equal to zero true because if the columns are linearly in linearly dependent that means a is not invertible and the determinant is equal to zero this one is p c true then d determinant of a plus b is equal determinant of a plus determinant of b we said this one is false now in 28 if three row interchange are made in succession then the new determinant equals the old determinant so that's mean minus one power if it, it is made three times so it will be minus 1 power 3 multiplied by the determinant of the old one and here it says it is equal so this one is false it will be minus the determinant so let us this one say minus 1 multiplied by the old determinant so we say this one is false then b the determinant of A is the product of the diagonal entries in A. This one is false. It is not the product of the determinant of A is the product of the diagonal entries because A should be triangular matrix A. We cannot say any matrix A. So A should be triangular. Then C, if determinant of A is 0, then two rows or two columns are same or row or column is 0. We cannot say this one. It is true that if 
it may one of these is true or the columns are linearly dependent so we cannot conclude here one of these only see for the for example example three so c is false then d determinant of a inverse is equal minus determinant of a this one is false d is false determinant of a inverse is equal 1 over determinant of a not equal minus determinant of a. we'll see that in next next exercise in 29 compute determinant of p power 4 where b is the given matrix we know that by theorem 6 that determinant of p power 4 is equal determinant of p multiplied by determinant of p multiplied by determinant of p multiplied by determinant of p so that's mean it is equal determinant of p all power 4 let us put it in bracket so now we first we need to evaluate what is determinant of p so determinant of p is is equal if we go through this first row so the determinant will be equal one multiplied by the determinant of we cross this one cross this one one multiplied by one one minus two multiplied by two which is four then zero so plus zero then plus we take the uh, cofactor of one so here we have one then we have cross this one cross this one one multiplied by two it is two minus one multiplied by one this is one so one minus four is minus three so we have minus three then two minus one is one so this will give us one so minus three plus one is minus two so from here determinant of b power four is equal minus 2 power 4 which is equal to 16. in 30 use theorem 3 but not theorem 4 to show that if two rows of a square matrix a are equal then determinant of a is equal to 0 the same is true for two columns and one so if we have matrix a and if two rows of this matrix are equal, then the determinant is equal to 0, 1 to show this one. So let us assume that, so suppose the two, row, the two rows of A of A, which is N by N matrix, are equal. Now, if we swap between these two rows, the matrix A is not to change. Because swapping between these two rows will not to change the matrix A. So, by swapping these two rows, the matrix A is not to change because they are identical they are equal if we change between these two rows there is no change in the matrix a so a is not to change so its determinant will be the same should not to change And we know that swapping two rows change the sign of the determinant. But swapping rows change the sign of the determinant. That's mean determinant of A is equal minus determinant of P. But this is not the case in our matrix. This is only possible if the determinant is equal to 0. Because 0 will not change the sign. 
so this is only possible if determinant of a is equal to zero and we prove this the same is true for two columns y here we, we just we need to apply the same thing for a transpose so the columns of a transpose will be uh, sorry the rows of a transpose will be these two columns and we do the same thing so the same maybe proven true for columns by applying the above result to a transpose and using theory. which is the same, the same theorem. In exercise 31 to 36, mention an appropriate theorem in your explanation. So 31, show that if A is invertible, then determinant of A inverse is equal 1 over determinant of A. So we know that A multiplied by A inverse is equal to the identity matrix i now by theorem 6 in 31 to 36 mention an appropriate theorem in your explanation so 31 show that if a is invertible then determinant of a inverse is equal to 1 over determinant of a we know that A multiplied by A inverse is equal to the identity matrix since A is invertible. Now if we add determinant for both sides, so here we have A, A inverse is equal determinant of I. By theorem 6, we know that determinant of A, A inverse is equal determinant of A multiplied by determinant of A inverse and we know that determinant of the identity matrix is just equal to 1. So now we need to find determinant of A inverse so determinant of A inverse will be equal 1 over determinant of A because A is invertible determinant is not equal to 0 so now we can divide by this one. So from here we get determinant of A inverse is 1 over determinant of now for 32, suppose that A is a square matrix such that determinant of A cube is equal to 0. Explain why A cannot be invertible. We know that by theorem 6 on also, so theorem 6, determinant of A cube is equal determinant of a multiplied by A multiplied by A, which is equal determinant of A multiplied by determinant of A multiplied by determinant of A, which is determinant of A all power A3. If determinant of A cube is equal to 0, that means this one should be equal to 0. This one is equal to 0, so that means determinant of A also is equal to 0. So, because the determinant of A is equal to 0, from here A is not invertible. So, now for 32, or for 33, sorry. So for 33, let A and B be square matrices. Show that even though A, B and B, A may not be equal, it is always true that determinant of A, B is equal determinant of B, A. So for 33, by theorem 6 again, determinant of A, B is equal determinant of A, 
multiplied by the determinant of p. Since these both of them are number, eh? numbers, so we can swap. So this will give us the determinant of p multiplied by the determinant of a, which is equal to the determinant of b a. So the determinant of a b is equal to the determinant of b a, and we prove this one. Now for 35. Let u be a square matrix. For 35, let u be a square matrix such that u transpose u is equal i, show that the determinant of u is equal plus or minus 1. So we start by u, u transpose is equal i. If we put the determinant both sides, so the determinant of u, u transpose is equal to the determinant of I. We use theorem 6, so this will give us the determinant of u multiplied by the determinant of u transpose. We know that the determinant of i is just 1. So this is 1. It is known that from theorem, the determinant of u and the determinant of u transpose are equal. So this is just determinant of u all square is equal to 1. So from here, we conclude that determinant of u is equal plus or minus 1. Just take square root for both sides. Now for 36, find a formula for determinant of Ra when A is an n by n matrix. So we need to find determinant of R A matrix. For example, let us assume that our A, if A, for example, it is a 3 by 3 matrix and it is an identity matrix. So this is equal to I3, which is equal 3, sorry, which is equal 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, R I3, this will give us R0, 0, 0, R0, 0, 0, R. Now, because this one is a triangular matrix, the determinant of Ri3 is equal R multiplied by R, multiplied by R, which is R a cube. So, from here, we see that the determinant of Ra is R a cube multiplied by, we know that the determinant of I3, which is equal to 1. So R3 multiplied by 1, this will give us R3. So if you want to generalize this one, so determinant of Ra is equal R power N determinant of A. Because here we have I3. If the, in the case if we have R2, we have just this part. So this one will be R multiplied by R, which is R squared. So R, the determinant of R A is equal R power N, where N is the size of the matrix, multiplied by determinant of A. In 37, verify that determinant of A B is equal determinant of A multiplied by determinant of P for the matrices here. Do not use theorem 6. So first we need to find what is A B which is the matrix A36. 0, 1, multiplied by the matrix B, which is 2, 5, 0, 4. So after we multiply these two matrix, we get the new matrix here, 6. This one, 0. This one, 17. This one, 4. So now determinant of A is equal to determinant of this matrix, which is 3 minus 6 multiplied by 0, 0, which is 3. Determinant of P is determinant of this matrix, which is 2 multiplied by 4 minus 0, which is equal to 8. So from here, determinant of A multiplied by determinant of B is equal 3 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 20, 24. Now, for the determinant of AB is equal to the determinant of this matrix, 
which is 24 minus 17 multiplied by 0, which is 0, which is equal to 24. So from here we see that determinant of a, b is equal to determinant of a multiplied by determinant of b. In 39, let A and B be 3 by 3 matrices with determinant of A is equal minus 3, determinant of B is equal 4. Use properties of determinant in the text and the, in the exercises above to compute. So the first one, A, is determinant of B, A, B. It is equal to determinant of A multiplied by determinant of B, which is equal, determinant of A, A is minus 3, determinant of B is 4. So this is minus 12. Now for B, determinant of 5A is equal 5. Is A is a 3 by 3, so 5 power 3. Determinant of A, which is equal um, 5 power 3 multiplied by minus 3. This will give us minus 375. Now for C, determinant of P transpose, it is equal to determinant of P, which is equal 4. D, determinant of A inverse, which is equal 1 over determinant of A, which is 1 over minus 3. Then for E, determinant of A cube, it is equal to determinant of A all power 3, which is equal minus 3 power 3, which is minus 27. Similarly for 40, so we are given determinant of a minus 3, determinant of b minus 1. So a, determinant of a, b will be equal determinant of a multiplied determinant of b which is minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 which is 3. For b, determinant of b power 5, so this will be equal to determinant of p all power 5 which is minus 1 power 5 which is minus 1 for c determinant of 2a so this will be equal 2 power 3 determinant of a so it will be 8 multiplied by the determinant of a is minus 3 so this is minus 24 for d determinant of a transpose p a, so this is multiplication between the three matrix. We know that in not determinant of A transpose is similarly like determinant of A. So this will be equal determinant of A, determinant of B, determinant of A. Determinant of A is minus 3, determinant of B minus 1, this one is minus 3. So this will give us minus 9. For E, determinant of P inverse A B. So multiplication, determinant of P inverse, it is 1 over determinant of P. Determinant of A, determinant of P. So this will give us 1 over determinant of P is minus 1. Determinant of A is minus 3. Determinant of P is minus 1. So this will give us minus 3. In 41, verify that determinant of A is equal to determinant of P plus determinant of C. So first we need to find determinant of A. So this will give us D multiplied by A plus E minus C multiplied by B plus F. Now we need first to find determinant also of P. So this will give us AD minus b c now determinant of c is equal e d minus c f want to show that determinant of a is equal determinant of b plus determinant of c so now determinant of a is equal t a plus e minus c p plus f so this is just AD minus, sorry, AD plus DE minus CP minus CF. So if we rearrange it, so it will be AD minus CB or BC, then plus DE minus CF. So AD minus CB, which is this one, 
so it is determinant of B plus DE minus CF which is this one or ED it will be the same so determinant of C and here we prove that determinant of A is equal determinant of B plus determinant of C now for 20, 42 we are given the matrix A matrix B want to show that determinant of A plus B is equal to determinant of A plus determinant of B if and only if A plus D is equal to 0. So first determinant of A is equal 1 multiplied by 1 minus 0, so 1. Determinant of B is equal AD minus BC. So now determinant of A plus B, so first we need to find what is A plus B. So a plus b is just 1 plus a, then 0 plus b, then 0 plus c, then 1 plus d. So now determinant of a plus b, it is equal 1 plus a multiplied by 1 plus d minus b, c. We can factor this one, so 1 multiplied by d plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus a multiplied by 1 plus a multiplied by d so this will give us 1 plus a plus t plus a d minus b c so we want to show that determinant of a plus b it is equal to determinant of a plus determinant of b if and only if a plus d is equal to 0 we see that determinant of a is 1 so this one is just determinant of a plus a plus d we know that determinant of B, A, D minus B, C, which is this one. So this one is plus determinant of B. So determinant of A plus B, it is equal to determinant of A plus B if this part is equal to 0. So they are equal if and only if A plus D is equal to 0.